Hello everybody, this is just Roblox back with another video, and in this video I am playing the strongest battlegrounds, a person on Discord who is friends with another friend of mine on Discord, um, showed me this the other day. Um, so basically we were playing Roblox and my friend's friend said we should play this, so we played this. I really sucked at this game. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and play this. I'm gonna leave a link to this game in the description of this video so you'll be able to just click on the link and it will take you to this game so here we go it's loading up right now so i am in the strongest battlegrounds i suck at this game um originally the other day i was playing as the strongest hero and essentially when you play as this character there are four abilities so number one is like this rock power number two is like this punching number three is like a block and number four is like a punch um i was playing as this uh character the strongest hero right there the strongest hero and i sucked at it um but my friend's friend on discord was really good with it i prefer like one of the ninja people let me see if i can get it i like the ninja one because you can snipe with it so number four when you're the ninja shoots like a ninja star i think i'm the wrong ninja give me a second to see if i can find the right ninja one of these ones can shoot a um like a ninja star so we'll see which one of these has it i think it might be this one yeah so it's this one it is one of these three right here i'm going to take a second and find it again so that you guys can know which one it is it is Deadly Ninja. So Deadly Ninja has an exploding shuriken. I like this one because it's one of the only classes where you can actually snipe somebody. Um, and like what I said, I really suck at this game. So as I play through this game, I'm probably going to die a few times because I don't really know how to play this game. This is really only the second time I've ever played this game. As you can see, someone just like totally is absolutely destroying me but he's also destroying this other person i'm trying to take advantage of coming up behind them i don't know what all my powers are um because this is only the second time i've played this game but i'm trying to steal this guy's kill because then i don't have to do as much work here we go oh i got hit by that dude's ability i don't know where my health is there you go did i get him oh i did get him and you can see he's running away right now i probably should use number four and he got hit and he is about to die, but he's going to run away like a coward. He's cowering into a battle zone where he's going to probably die from somebody else. He looks like he has like a speed move. I'm trying to get up behind him and get him. Nope, someone someone else hit me. There's just so many people in the game. But this game is pretty good so far, I would say. Oh, someone else killed him before I could kill him. Darn it. So you can see here, this dude's playing as the baseball guy. He has like a baseball bat can i sprint with this oh i can okay so the deadly ninja which is what i'm playing as has a lot of speed moves and you can see this baseball guy has like a lot of ground pound sort of moves oh i missed him with the shuriken thing run away run away and i ran out of my abilities so you can see on the bottom bar your abilities have to recharge what does three do i haven't used number three yet Okay, so that's what number three is. But you can see that this ninja has a lot of speed moves, and it has it's one of the only classes that has a sniping move in the game. And that is why I like it, because you can go like that. But as you can see, I missed him, which is okay. This dude is absolutely destroying me with the baseball class. I think he has a blocking ability, which could be why there's such a prom. Can I block too, or is are you just at the will of him here? Is there a way to block? No. Okay, so there's really no way for the deadly uh, ninja class to block a person. And you can see 
down there at the bottom, all my stuff's recharging. So he's probably going to come up here and get me right now. See, boom. And he killed me with the baseball class with all those ground pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and try out another one of the classes instead of the Deadly Ninja. So that was the Deadly Ninja class right there. As you can see, with the Deadly Ninja, um, if this dude quits ground pounding me, give me a second to get away from him, possibly. I think he's just going to spawn kill me. But you can see that you can snipe with this. You can see that you can um, also do a lot of, like, teleporting moves with this. Like that. So you can teleport and stuff. You can see he's probably going to come back and try and get me right there. But he doesn't understand that I'm trying to show everybody all the different things you can do. So let's see if it will let me become this. Okay. So I'm going to try restarting my character so that I can see um, what the next thing is. Am I? Here in a second, my character should reset and then I will become a new thing so we're going to try becoming this so i've never been this class before i just became the destructive cyborg so you can see you have like robotic arms so this is the first thing you can do it's sort of the same as the um strongest hero sort of like a punching move he's got me right now with one of his moves so that was useless so let's see what this does it's like a gun okay so another sniping move and there's something called Jet Drive. What does that do? Interesting. That was an interesting one. So learning how to use this will probably be a little bit hard. Considering that this dude has all pretty much close up moves. So we're going to go ahead and let this dude. He's playing as the baseball dude who has like a baseball bat. Just attack me. Attack me to see what all his moves are. And how he uses them. It seems like how the baseball character sort of plays um, is mostly all close up attacks and right now what I'm trying to do is trying to figure out which character is the best character I figured that it would be a ranged character because it would give you a chance to snipe people right but it looks like a lot of the best characters in this game have close up moves like what he just did how he just totally destroyed me with close up moves so I'm going to go ahead and show off all the moves of this one again so right now I'm playing as the destructive cyborg this dude right here just spawned on top of me i'm going to restart so i'm not right next to them i might even want to switch servers i'm going to let this dude kill me so i can restart and show you guys all the different stuff that this does there we go so now he's got me, I'm flying out of the map, and I'm going to restart with a new person. There we go. So this is number one, is like a punching thing, sort of useless. Number two, sort of forces you forwards and then you shoot. And number three is like a sniper that explodes. And four, brings you up and brings you down forwards. So you really have to know where you're going to go if you're using um, the destructive cyborg. And with the Deadly Ninja, you really have to know where you're going to aim your sniping ability. So now, we're going to try and play as the Brutal Demon, which is what this is called. The guy with the baseball bat, which is what he was playing as. And we're going to see what they can do. So you can see, once again, sort of like a close-up ability. Sort of again a close-up ability. Once again a close-up ability. Once again a close-up ability. So we'll be able to see between all the different characters which is the best so i just played as a deadly ninja the destructive cyborg now i'm playing as a dude who was attacking me earlier and we're gonna see here in a second i'm waiting for all the cooldowns to cool down which one is the best because one of these will be the best in the game just because it's not properly balanced you can see this person ground pounding this person right here right so it's very hard to get like right on top of people because you can see you have to stand just right so this guy has close-up attack, so he's like a punching one, so you can see how he came up and he got me. I'm just trying to figure out where I need to stand to actually hit a person. So you can see I got him. So when you're using the Brutal Demon class, you have to stand like five feet away to actually do anything to your opponent. Someone just like destroyed the whole server with an ability. 
I think they might have a VIP character. So remember, when you use the Brutal Demon to stand at least five of like these cubes away before using an ability, so like with this guy. See, I almost hit him, but I had to be a little bit farther away. Let me see how far this goes. Okay, yeah, that's like three feet. So you have to have you have to have a good sense of how far you're gonna be. Otherwise, that will happen to you. See, and this guy who I'm fighting with right now, these two dudes who have the electricity, they have a more of like close up ability. So that was the Brutal Demon, and it seems to be very hard to play through because you can see that it's a three feet. You can see I went like three feet when I did an ability, three feet. So let's see what's another one of these. So they're playing as this one right now. The people who just attacked me were playing as this. So how do you use this in this game? Yeah, see this one's all close up ability. So here in a second after I'm done standing here waiting for my abilities to recharge, we'll see how the hero hunter plays in comparison to the rest. So I just played as the brutal demon, the deadly ninja, and the destructive cyborg. I'm playing as the hero hunter right now. In here in a few minutes I'll play as the blade master. And remember I'm going to leave a link to this game in the description of this video. Um, but so far i haven't really found like a really good one of these it seems like it's about really playing this game so you need to really play this game for a long time to get used to the ability so this dude i don't know what he's playing as oh okay wow this one sort of has some cheats i would say so far okay so i gotta run away otherwise it's just gonna get me so right now i'm playing as the hero hunter and it definitely has an advantage that none of the rest of them have and the advantage that it has that none of the rest of them have is that it allows you to really grip on to who you're attacking this dude got a really good grip on me because he's he's doing all his moves back to back see how he's doing all his moves back to back he's not very happy that I got him Where's number four? So I would definitely say that if you're new to this game, I just got destroyed. But I did way better now. You you guys saw that there that I did way better. And he and me are playing as the same thing right now, Hero Hunters. And you can see that this Hero Hunter thing gives you a little bit of an advantage. Because there's really no order in which your abilities have to go. And... It gives you sort of a cheat. The hero hunter, how it sort of gives you a little bit of a cheat is you can hook on to the other person. So when I do my abilities, I sort of grip on to him, right? And he's also a hero hunter. So if he doesn't do his ability before I do my ability, he um, will get stuck. And I'll go ahead and describe that a little bit more. So essentially what's giving me an advantage as the hero hunter in this game um, called the strongest battlegrounds is you can grab you can see how he just grabbed onto me he's probably gonna beat me oh nope i'm getting him right now he's running away though so that he can get a grip yeah he got a grip right there it's pretty tied up but i think he might get me is that the hero this hero hunter class can grab onto the other person and do a lot of damage to them and that really gives you an advantage. He got me. I think he finally did it. Yeah, he's got me because he got in there. Oh, nope. I got him now. I got him now. So definitely, if you're new to this game called The Strongest Battlegrounds, I should just playing the Hero Hunter because it is the easiest to play. He got me, though. He recovered. But you can see that was a lot longer than all the earlier ones so really the advantage that the hero hunter gives you is that it's really close up combat wise and it allows you to sort of grab the opponent but i'm going to go ahead and play as a blade master right now so let's see what this person does in comparison to all the other classes so they have a sword okay they sort of like can sprint and kick bring someone up into the air and they can backslice so here in a moment 
here in a moment I'm gonna show you guys what this all does on a person I'm gonna go find a person use it on them um, but I would definitely say that the hero hunter is probably one of the best and easiest to use because you don't have to do any sort of hard work with it right so I'll go back to the hero hunter in a second and show that off because the hero hunter just has such a serious advantage so these people are standing here and with this one you get to stand like one foot back and anyone who steps in that sphere gets hit so I missed that one I didn't miss this one so you can see that that gave me a little bit of an advantage okay so that's like a block so I think number four might be a block on um, the blade master but number four I'm uh, not number four number one is like a big slice attack oh wow they stopped me they stopped me so I gotta wait for number one to recharge and then I'm going to do this again, but number one, number two, number three all have to do with charging or uplifting. Let's see what this gets to this dude. Nope, I missed him. You have to, like, stand, like, right here and do number two when you do it. There we go. I just did number one. You saw how much damage that did to him. Let's see what number three does. Nope, I missed him. See? And that's why you have to be careful on these classes um, in this game, like the Blade Master or the Deadly Ninja where you have to have distance or distance is like a big part of what you do and i forget which one of these is the uplift i think this one's the uplift am i gonna get him no he got me right now but i'm definitely doing a little bit better than i was before. oh i got him right and so that's number two you just saw me do number two and you have to be really close you have to be really close to the other person in this game on blade master to do your number two ability it is really tough he has dodged me he dodged me this guy who i'm fighting against is not as good as the other people i was fighting against like earlier at the beginning of this video the dude who kept killing me over and over again i think he's over there right now. oh never mind someone's killing him right now how do you pick up a trash can it might be what class he is and he got me but still way better so i would suggest if you played this to start out playing the blade master or the hero hunter because they're just easier to play like you saw i just i almost beat that guy who's right there in front of me right now here on the blade master um but he killed me in the end because he did some ability where he could pick up a trash can and threw it at me but i almost totally defeated him and the two easiest classes to play in this is the blade master and the hero hunter a lot of people are playing as them like the dude who was fighting me in the beginning was the hero hunter um or some similar thing to it and another person who beat me in the beginning was a hero hunter the thing with the blue energy i'll go ahead and show that off so hero hunters have this blue energy stuff and the advantage that hero hunters have is that they like grab onto you and you cannot get away and blade masters have this great ability where they can make like a giant bubble of attack right in front of them like that and it's really an advantage you can also oh geez that person has a strange power i take it that that might be the vip because there's the there's a couple vip classes that you can't get unless you pay for it which is like wild physic person you have to pay for that but there's a few more that you have to pay for so that might have been a vip person right there and you can see him out there doing some sort of vip move pretty cool pretty interesting this is where i'm going to end this video if you play this game and you're new to this game on roblox i suggest you play the blade master the hero hunter the deadly ninja the destructive cyborg both have long distance abilities and the brutal demon uh class um has a lot of jumping abilities that are hard to use so this is the end of this video have a great one guys and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video